Welcome everyone. Thank you for joining us today webinar. Uh, my name is Jack Morangitation and I'm the human, supply, human space flight researcher at Wales Medicine International India and uh, is a leading provider for CubeSats and uh, uh, academia and industry service providers for the CubeSat building and do the consultancies. And uh, we are also working on Soyuz spacecraft training simulators in Russia and uh, we try to establish space centers in around the globe and uh, also i'm the head of the um, uh, private moon landing mission by 2025 synergy moon usa and uh, our partner companies and uh, i'm the deputy also only the position of deputy chairman of uh, international academy of space land russia today is the very special day i would like to congratulate all of you to the international cosmonautics day to date, 565 cosmonauts and astronauts and taikonauts from the different countries have traveled into the space. This path is began on April 12, 1961 with the Soviet cosmonaut Yuri Alexeyevich Gagarin. Uh, 59 years have been passed since the first uh, manned space flight, exactly 59 years ago. Uh, Yuri Gagarin took uh, mankind into space. Today we are presenting, uh, I'm presenting on the course overview of international online program of rockets and satellites engineering and this COVID-19 situation to give uh, a refresher course like that. And following by the cosmonautic greetings from International Space Station, Roscosmos and Chinese National Space Agency. And just a little housekeeping before we started. If you have any questions and presentation, please write to us in the email. And unfortunately, we try to bring up some of the presentations. Uh, have some uh, time of for questions at the end and some sessions. Uh, we are facing online uh, platform difficulty because uh, we got registration more than five thousand plus registrations, and uh, we tried best way to deliver since everyone stay at home and work from home. And uh, please stay in touch. Okay, now we let's uh, let's uh, discuss about the course overview and what you learned from uh, this uh, webinar and this most short time five days course. Uh, is an, uh, you can able to understand the fundamentals of rocket systems and uh, people, the experts will share their uh, the experience uh, how the really the satellite systems and rockets will be how complicated. And also we try to use the satellite applications in different areas and to understand the fundamentals and the uses of uh, different uh, rocket propulsion systems. Um, and uh, also you can, one of the interesting topic about the human space flight researches, what kind of these experiments that can be uh, uh, done in International Space Station and also what are the future possibilities that uh, uh, International Space Station thinks what we can do on it. And uh, you can able to understand about the fundamental aspects of International Space Law that also we discussed. We invited uh, the engineers and managers, teachers and specialists around the globe and aspects of the space development. Uh, I believe some most uh, the we received the member of the group of the age between the 14 to uh, about seven still the 70 year old so it's like uh, it is like completely it's a mixed uh, uh, team actually so, so i would like to introduce the speakers uh, professor nathan esmuth head of the head scientist of space research institute in Rus of russian academy of sciences and professor Uju is national space Cent science center in in beijing and um, he's also vice president of the cospa and uh, the number two and uh, Dr. Jack Morris, myself, I'm in Chief Executive Officer of Wales Marine International and Deputy Chairman of International Academy of Space Law and Chief Technology Officer for Synergy Moon in USA. That was the uh, private moon landing mission that was offered by Google uh, 10 years back. So, and also a visionary for a great technology contest in Russia. And uh, I'd like to introduce none of the speakers like Mark Zero, he's a test cosmonaut uh, and also currently is uh, working with the S7 Space and Russia. And he will talk about uh, his experience uh, uh, in, uh, in cosmonaut training and uh, things. And, uh, and the next is uh, Dimitri, next speaker is uh, Dimitri Petalin, he is the uh, test uh, cosmonaut in Yuri Gagarin Cosmonaut Test Training Center is Roscosmos. He will share his own experience. And uh, the and the next speaker is Ivan Oshitz. He's a full professor and center for computational and data intensity 
uh, train science and uh, engineering uh, the school cover uh, institute of technology and russia and uh, they are introducing another professor alexander golka associate professor and technology development director at school cover uh, institute of science and technology in russia and uh, next uh, i'm uh, uh, going to introduce uh, Dr. Agata. Uh, Kuru, uh, she will be acting as the director of uh, science projects and uh, uh, and also as analog. Uh, he is the director for scientific projects in Analog Astron Training Center in Poland. And uh, she is also in a position as in director for advanced concept and uh, supporting the analog missions in India and with Wells Medicine in India and International. And uh, Dr. Jay Kumar Kandasa, Jay Raman Kandasami is a visiting professor and uh, he is the um, tube tech uh, research fellow and a middle east in technical university ankara turkey uh, and uh, uh, director for propulsion systems working um, with the wells Madness international and um, our next speaker is uh, dr ravindra Belur Jana, he is a senior scientist and school tech center for computational and uh, data intensity center and engineering in Russia. And the next speaker is uh, Vitaly Gro, analyst and popularizer in space research and blogger of Zillion Court and uh, administrator of popular science groups of uh, Vitenko Open Source of Cube City Rover and public relations specialist in private space company Daria Space. And I uh, am introducing another speaker, Vasily Lovich Petro. Is a Lemon Cell Moscow State University is a senior research fellow and uh, in Scobis Institute for Nuclear Physics. And, uh, I'm introducing the another speaker, Professor Rashito Vladimir, the Professor Office for Academic Programs Division of Laser and Plasma Technologies, Institute of uh, Laser and Plasma Technologies and uh, National Research University uh, is like a specialized uh, nuclear research university in Russia. And uh, next uh, speaker is uh, Ivan Sheko, head of uh, Space Systems Laboratory of uh, Project Laboratories, Department of Talent Success Education Foundation coordinator, and uh, the experts of big challenge programs and all Russian project competitions. And the uh, next speaker is Valentin Ro, he's the deputy head of uh, director for Center for industrial communications uh, central research institute of machine building tashma and roscosmos and a member for russian academy of council for outer space and member for international institute of space law i would like to share the schedule for next five days uh, here it's like it's beginning in april 12 on cosmonaut stay uh, it's like the greeting from international space station and also roscosmos so begin with that and uh, we starting the actual lecture by tomorrow of introduction to the space engineering by experience it will be shared by one of the most experienced uh, expert um, and uh, uh, you can say and uh, he worked uh, as a director for department of man space uh, systems and also he director for department for commercial projects and he have a lot of experience uh, uh, he is working in uh, on, uh, one of the, the Russian space agency and also is an uh, expert member of uh, International Institute of the Space Law. And uh, after that, the introduction to the space science, uh, it will be uh, the lecture at 2 p.m. as Moscow local time. And he will discuss about uh, uh, general information uh, about uh, space research and uh, from uh, the perspective on April 14 uh, introduction to aerospace engineering uh, at uh, 12 p.m. Moscow time the professor Alessandro Kolkar associate professor and technology development director at school cover Institute of science and technology and he's also one of the most experienced uh, uh, experience expert in space industry he will talk about and um, the after that the elements of rockets and satellite systems which will be delivered by the most of the test cosmonauts and also he is um, currently is working in a space in russia 
and after that uh, around 5 pm of local moscow local time dr jay raman kandasan assistant professor he will discuss about uh, mostly about uh, rocket propulsion and uh, how the space propulsion is works on april 15 uh, 2020 introduction to space science uh, it's around uh, 10 o'clock in moscow local time and uh, the professor uju will be discuss about share his experience in space science and after that um, 2 p.m uh, uh, at uh, moscow local time of introduction to remote sensing and uh, the professor ivan osiris and full professor school tech center for computational data intensity science and engineering center in russia and uh, after that uh, around 5 p.m moscow local time it's like dr ravindra bill Jana, he's a research scientist of School Tech Center for Computational Data Intensity Research Center. So he will be discussing on you know, the remote sensing projects info. And uh, April 16, 2020, the educational technologies for space uh, around 10 o'clock in Moscow local time. Ivan Shenko, head of uh, Space Systems Laboratory, Talent and Success Education Foundation. He will explain about what are the opportunities for education technologies for space. And the next uh, will be an in, uh, introduction to the satellite engineering to around two, 12 p.m. Moscow local time and was the Petro Lamasom Moscow State University it's from and also is a research fellow of uh, Scubert's Institute for Nuclear Space and uh, next is a very interesting topic is like human space flight research uh, Dimitri Patel in test cosmonaut Yuri Gagarin cosmonaut training center from Roscosmos he will share his own experience and what are the opportunities and next uh, speaker by 12 p 2 p.m at uh, my local Moscow time is Dr. Jake Ma. he will explain about human space flight research activities and uh, what are the opportunities that uh, you can um, to explore in international space station and uh, uh, the how uh, you can get prepared for the human space flight training all those things our next speaker dr agata is uh, director of a scientific project and uh, she is also uh, head for the analog astronaut training facilities in poland uh, with uh, wales Mariners india and uh, she will explain about what are the opportunities for uh, young generation children who want to train to be a cosmonaut so she will explain about this lecture April 16, 2020, the educational technologies for space uh, around 10 o'clock in Moscow local time. Ivan Shenko, head of uh, Space Systems Laboratory, Talent and Success Education Foundation. He will explain about what are the opportunities for education technologies for space. And the next uh, will be an in, uh, introduction to the satellite engineering to around 2, 12 p.m. Moscow local time and was the Petro Lamasom. Moscow State University it's from and also is a research fellow of Scubert Institute for Nuclear Space X. And uh, next is a very interesting topic is like human space flight research. Uh, Dimitri Patel in test cosmonaut Yuri Gagarin, cosmonaut training center from Roscosmos. He will share his own experience and what are the opportunities. And next uh, speaker by 12 p 2 p.m. at uh, my local Moscow time is Dr. Jake Ma. He will explain about human space flight research activities and uh, what are the opportunities that uh, you can um, to explore in international space station and uh, uh, the how uh, you can get prepared for the human space flight training all those things our next speaker dr agata is uh, director of a scientific project and uh, she is also uh, head for the analog astronaut training facilities in poland uh, with uh, wales Mariners india and uh, she will explain about what are the opportunities for uh, young generation children who want to train to be a cosmonaut. So she will explain about this lecture. Uh, for your kind information, all the participants would receive the certificates. And uh, moreover, uh, you, you need to uh, watch the entire video sessions. And uh, it is also available in offline also. If you have any questions, you can try to to our colleague uh, Ekaterina Asmalova. Very special sincere thanks uh, to our colleagues and partners, uh, School Tech Russia, Faculty for Space Research and Diamonds of Moscow State University, uh, Skobets Institute for Nuclear Physics of Lamas of Moscow State University, Space Research Institute for Russian Academy of Sciences, International Academy of Space Law, Wales Madness International India, 
Analog Astronomy Training Center of Poland, and National Space Science Center of China, and S7 Space, and Yuri Gagarin Cosmonaut Training Center in Russia, and uh, Roscosmos, and the Center for Building, Central Research Institute for Machine Building in Russia, Space System Laboratories of the Project Laboratories of Talent and Success Education Foundation Russia, and uh, National Research University. Uh, specialized in nuclear, so MIFI and uh, Middle East uh, Technical University, Turkey. Special gratitude to the Ministry of Science and Higher Education of Russian Federation and Russian Academy of Sciences and Interschool LC for providing educational platform. And uh, Dmitry Rogozin, congratulations on Cosmonaut Day. And uh, is the Director General of Ros uh, Roscosmos State Corporation. Congratulations all employees of the enterprise of. Uh, Russian rocket and space industry related industries on uh, Cosmonauts Day. Here you can see his congratulations. Уважаемые друзья, коллеги, соратники, дорогие ветераны, сердечно поздравляю вас с Днем космонавтики. Для нашей страны это один из лучших и самых теплых праздников, потому что связан этот праздник с первым полетом человека в космос, и этот человек – наш человек. Это Юрий Алексеевич Гагарин. И с тех пор каждый год мы отмечаем этот день как профессиональный праздник всех тех, кто связал свою судьбу с космонавтикой, с пилотируемой космонавтикой или космонавтикой, связанной с запуском автоматических космических аппаратов, космонавтикой, связанной с созданием наземной космической инфраструктуры, космонавтикой боевой, которая стоит на защите рубежей нашей Родины. Контакт подъема. Есть контакт подъема. В этот раз мы проводим День космонавтики, уже приближаясь к замечательным датам. Это и юбилей космодрома Байконур, это юбилей создания Центра подготовки космонавтов, ну и, конечно, в 2021 году, в следующем году мы отметим большой юбилей юбилей первого полета Юрия Алексеевича Гагарина. Поэтому такого рода события, связанные с историей отечественной космонавтики, накладывают огромную ответственность на всех тех, кто сейчас причастен к нашей отрасли. В начале 2020 года президент России Владимир Владимирович Путин подписал новую редакцию основ государственной политики в области космической деятельности. В этом документе стратегического значения поставлены задачи, связанные с развитием российского космоса. Это и покорение планет Солнечной системы, Луны, Марса, Венеры. Это развитие научного космоса. Это переход на новую ракетокосмическую технику, которую наша отрасль так долго ждала. Это серьезный вызов для всех, для нас, потому что создание новых ракет-носителей – Создание универсальных спутниковых платформ, создание нового пилотируемого корабля и новых модулей для орбитальных станций, создание материальной основы для будущих покорений Луны и других планет – это вызов не только с точки зрения развития производства, его подготовки, использования новейших технологий, но самое главное – это не станки, самое главное – это люди. О них мы сейчас должны думать больше всего о подготовке нового инженерно-конструкторского класса, нового поколения тех, кто может создать материальную основу для того, чтобы Россия по-прежнему была бы лидером мировой космонавтики. В эти дни я поздравляю все наши коллективы, все 200 тысяч работников ракетно-космической отрасли России, которые собраны в рамках единой семьи Роскосмоса. С праздником вас, дорогие товарищи! Uh, special congratulations from the orbit Russian members of the space crew of International Space Station Expedition, cosmonauts of, um, of Roscosmos, Oleg Shirpenko and Anatoly Ivanshin and uh, Ivan Wagner on the board of International Space Station. Congratulate all Earthlings on Cosmonaut Day. Мы, космонавты Роскосмоса, Олег Скрипочка, Анатолий Иванишин и Иван Вагнер, приветствуем всех с борта Международной космической станции. Ровно 59 лет назад советский космонавт Юрий Алексеевич Гагарин стал первым. Наша страна, победив в тяжелой и изнурительной войне, показала всему миру свой научный и технологический потенциал. А наши ученые 
умение выполнять сложнейшие задачи в самые короткие сроки. Для всех жителей нашей планеты Юрий Гагарин всегда будет первым. Его лицо без труда узнает каждый, а его улыбка будет вдохновлять новые поколения космонавтов и астронавтов. С Днем Космонавтики! Желаем вам новых достижений, побед, отличного настроения и ощущения праздника. Special greetings from Professor Wu Ju of National Space uh, Science Center, South China. He is addressing his uh, best wishes. Dear,朋友们，大家好，我是中国国家航天局局长张克简，在俄罗斯航天日到来之际，我代表中国航天界向俄航集团。和俄罗斯航天人致以诚挚的问候树立了合作的典范Всем привет, меня зовут Шаков Иван Сергеевич, я заведующий лабораторией космической системы и дистанционное зондирование Земли, образовательный центр «Сириус». Всех рад поздравить с Днем космонавтики. Признаюсь честно, это мой самый любимый праздник, даже более любимый, чем Новый год и День рождения. И в честь этого праздника в своей презентации я вам расскажу о лаборатории, о тех проектах, которые мы делаем в лаборатории вместе с детьми, и о тех проектах, которые мы вместе с партнерами делаем для детей всей России. В частности, это проект «Дежурный по планете». В общем, будет довольно-таки интересно, познавательно и, надеюсь, полезно для всех. Буду рад видеть всех на нашем мероприятии.